go ahead and find the area of the region shared by the circle r equals 2 and the cardioid r equals 2 times 1 minus cosine theta. And if you like, you can also write this as 2 minus 2 cosine theta. So you know that's a cardioid along the x-axis and it's on the negative x direction. So here's how you're going to draw this. So for r equals 2, that's just a circle of radius 2. So we have a circle like this. So let's suppose this is a circle of radius 2. That means this is 2. This is 2. That's negative 2. So is this one, negative 2. Now cardioid, it's going to be along the negative x direction. So we go through this point. We'll connect this one right here and this one right here. And it will create a cardioid, like a heart looking shape, just like that. If you need help on sketching them, I'll leave some link in the description box for you to check it out. So the re region they share, it's going to be this particular region right here. So that's why, uh, that's the region these two curves share. And also this point right here, this is negative four. So how do we find the area of this particular region? So setting up a single integral is quite difficult. So we're going to do it separately. So for instance, I'm going to label uh, the region in the following way, but we're interested in that particular region that I just uh, shaded. Now let's take a look at this. So first we're gonna call this region right here, uh, this right here, which is only bounded by the cardioid. Let's call that region A1. And then if you double that area, you're going to get this region right here. So that will be double of A1. And then I'm going to label another piece. So this right here, that's going to be called A2. So because we want the area shared by both of these, so those are the specific regions. And if you double A2, you're going to get this piece right here. So that means A2, double of that, plus double of A1 give you the area we want, which is this entire piece that we wanted initially. So let's see how we can set this up. So for A1, well, that's just that green piece that we highlighted in green. So that's going to be, um, so A1, it's going to be the integral from zero to pi over two. So the angle starts here all the way to there. So that's covered by the cardioid from zero to pi over two. So we have one half r square, and the equation of that is two minus two cosine theta squared d theta. So that's gonna give us a one. And of course we're gonna double that. So we're gonna do two times that area. So put a two there. That's gonna give us a, uh, the, all of this region right here. So that will be a one, double of it. So let's go ahead and finish up that integral and then I'll show you how to find a two. So this is going to be, uh, so the two and the half, these will cancel out. So you're just going to have the integral from zero to pi over two. If you expand two minus two cosine theta, you will have four minus eight cosine theta plus four cosine squared theta d theta. And now here we're gonna apply the identity. So we know cosine squared theta is equal to one half, one plus cosine two theta. So that's what I'm gonna replace right here. So let's do that. So we have uh, the integral from zero to pi over two of four minus eight cosine theta plus four times that identity. So that's one half, one plus cosine two theta d theta. And now let's simplify this, distribute the four and the half. So further simplification, we have the integral from zero to pi over two of four minus eight cosine theta. And then four times a half, that's two times one, that's gonna be plus two. And then four times a half, that's two plus cosine, uh, that's gonna be plus two cosine two theta, d theta. So that's what we're integrating. 
I'm also going to go ahead and combine these guys right here, uh, 4 and 2, so that will leave me with a 6. So we got, let's put plus 6 right there. Now we're ready to integrate. So the integral of negative 8 cosine theta, that's negative 8 sine theta. The integral of 6, that's 6 theta. And the integral of 2 cosine 2 theta, that's uh, 2 sine 2 theta divided by 2. And we're going to evaluate all of these from 0 to pi over 2. So plug in the limit of integration, negative 8 sine of pi over 2 plus 6 times pi over 2 plus 2 times, well, 2 times 2. So again, these uh, can cancel out. So you just got sine 2 theta. So sine 2 theta time uh, evaluated at pi over 2, you got sine of pi minus, as you plug in the lower limit of integration, 0 into all of these pieces, you're going to get 0. So the lower limit of integration gives us 0. Sine of pi over 2, that's 1. So we have negative 8. And then 6 pi over 2, that's plus 3 pi. And then sine of pi, that's going to be 0. So this is what we get for a 1, uh, which has been doubled. So that's why we have the extra factor of 2. So this covers uh, all of that. So we have um, a1. And now a2, again, we're going to double that area. So a2 is going to be that circle. So a2, we're going to integrate uh, the circle, but from here to here. So from pi over 2 to pi. So the second one, a2, again, we're going to double that. So that's going to be 2 times the integral 1 half of r squared. So we're going to do it from pi over 2 to pi of r. Here is 2 because it's r squared. That's the formula. So then this will give us, um, well, 2 and a half. We can cancel that. So we have 4. Uh, and then if you integrate 4 respect to theta, you get 4 theta. Evaluate this from pi over 2 to pi. So this will give us uh, 4 times pi minus 4 times pi over 2. And this simplifies to 4 pi minus 2 pi which will just be 2 pi. So now let's write down our final answer. So 2 times a1, so that is right here. This is our answer for 2 times a1, negative 8 plus 3 pi. So that's negative 8 plus 3 pi. And then 2 times a2, that gave us this area, 2 pi. So this is plus 2 pi. So all together, we got our area to be negative 8 plus 5 pi. So that is the area of uh, this shared regions, the green and the pink. All right, I hope this makes sense.